So guys, today it's time to share with you what's my most favorite perfume discovery of the last month. And in the March 2022, it was this beautiful fragrance from the British niche house Ormond Jane that is called Avernia or Avernia. I'm not quite sure about the right pronunciation, so if you know how to say it correctly, please comment it down below. And in case you're interested in it, make sure to keep on watching, because all of my thoughts on it that I absolutely cannot wait to share with you are coming up. All you have to do is to subscribe to my channel right now, give this video a huge thumbs up, and then we can get started. Hello and welcome everyone to this month's episode in which I share with you which perfume discovery impressed me the most and in March it was hands down a variant. This is how I will call it. And I discovered it for myself back in autumn of 2021 when I had a sample of it that I enjoyed so much that I knew I needed for the springtime, which I got and I'm so happy about it. So the presentation of the fragrance is really nice. I am digging this very beautiful bright and at the same time calm down orange tone that looks so unique that it even inspired my outfit today. So my look includes some orange elements as well. And when you open the box, by the way, the texture of it is really nice. There is the bottle, their signature one that looks like this. Very sleek, very nice. And by the way, if you're familiar with Orange Jean perfumes, please let me know what's your favorite. But this new superb edition is definitely among my top favorites because the minute I tried out, it was so interesting, so modern and at the same time classy that I fell in love with it and I'm addicted to it at the moment. So as the name suggests, this is perfume about oak moss because I believe Avernia means oak moss. And this note is known for, you know, its power and those perfumes that include bergamot and um, oak moss are called chypress. And this is probably the most mature and complex genre in perfumery that might be associated with fragrances from the past because they used to be super popular and these days they might seem a little bit too old-fashioned. However, I love that Avernia is this modern take on the note of oak moss. And um, I would like to start with top notes because they are really noticeable in here. So when you spray it on, it opens, of course, with this bright scent because we have a juicy note of bergamot in there. So just in case your favorite perfumes include bergamot and note of oak moss, then you probably enjoy Shipra. And bergamot in here is really, really refreshing. However, we have a very strong team of spices such as pink pepper and coriander seeds that are very noticeable and you can actually smell them in the opening, especially because they are pushed by cardamom. I feel like in this composition they last longer than maybe in other perfumes and of course they bring a lot of this aromatic quality to the fragrance overall, but we also have the note of cassis in the top and it brings in, you know, like this a little bit of a twisted and maybe even a playful character. So it is juicy, but not too overwhelming. So the spices are still, you know, very, very strong and long lasting. But once they calm down, we get into the floral heart and we have a lot of floral notes going on in here, for example, Oris Vibe, a little of the valley, freesia, jasmine, violet, and Moroccan rose absolute. But in this case, I don't smell those floral notes separately. They are not even that strong. I would say that this is a very relaxed floral accord that we got in a barrier and a little bit blurred by the base notes, which um, include oak moss, cashmere, sandalwood, musk, poponax, and iso super. So overall, this perfume can be described as aromatic, floral, and woody, but I really like the texture of it because it is rather cool. That's, you know, the temperature, the feeling, and the texture is a little bit powdery. And as you know, I really love powdery perfumes. And um, 
when I call it powdery, I don't mean like cosmetic, lipstick sort of um, sweet type of powder. Maybe because of the cardamom that often smells a little bit powdery to me, just because of the texture, and maybe because of the flowers, and of course, oak musk, which is like um, dusty, you know, and the musk, the cashmere, even the woods, they just um, create this very nice texture. And that's another very enjoyable factor about this perfume, how it wears, because, I mean, you can't go you know, heavy on it, even if you overspray, it's not too much. It smells so classy, it smells so modern, you can even make it your signature scent. And when I wear it, I get compliments for this perfume. So I really, really love that it's a modern take on Shipra because often it smells too vintage for many people. And in case you're afraid of that earthy, forest-like and dirty type of oak mass, I think you might actually enjoy a Bernier because it's much more refined and even clean, fresh um, take on this note. So I would say that this is a phenomenal release from this brand that would suit both men and women. I personally found the best time for me to wear it is in between the seasons, so like during the spring and autumn time, but it is really universal and they recommend to wear a Vernia on any occasion when you want to feel at your alluring best and I absolutely agree on that. So I've been addicted to it during the whole month and even before that and I highly recommend you to look into it in case you're looking for a new fragrance for this spring season and of course if you're already familiar with it please let me know your thoughts as well as if you have any experience with Ormond Jane line because the selection of their perfumes is pretty cool so I would like to know if you have any favorites from it. But in case you're new to this brand, I would highly recommend you to check out my live chat with their founder on my Instagram, link to which you will find down below in the description box. So in case you would like to stay in touch, make sure to follow me there. And more health information is going to be in the description box for you where you can find Ormond Jane fragrances because I would personally recommend you to get them from Aquasil Natural Web Shop, which is an amazing place for those who love and indie perfumery and I even have a discount for you with which you can save some money. So make sure to check it out and of course if you have any questions left I'm here to answer them. So just drop me a comment down below. I'm looking forward to your feedback and in case you enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful then please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up because that way it will get noticed by other people as well. And if you haven't subscribed already please do so and don't forget to click on the notification bell so you will be updated when I post something new and that was all from me. I personally would like to hear what is your most loved and worn fragrance of March 2022. And in case you were lucky and discovered something new and interesting like I did with a Bernia, please comment everything and let's chat. And also make sure to stay tuned and smell good because we'll see each other in the next one really soon. Bye guys!